Harry exploded in cash for honor over leaked mail exposed sever ties with billionaire. Prince Harry distanced himself from Saudi billionaire Mahfouz Mare Mubarak bin Mahfouz after he made certain preconditions around a £1 million donation to an HIV charity, according to leaked messages. Leaked emails have revealed that Prince Harry cut ties with a Saudi billionaire amid grave concerns about his motives. The Duke of Sussex made the move a years before the tycoon became wrapped up in a police inquiry which has engulfed the future king, Prince Charles. Prince Charles and Mahfouz Mare Mubarak bin Mahfouz have become joint subjects in a metropolitan police investigation after the Mahfouz donated £1.5 million to the heirs' charities, before receiving a CBE honour. The force announced last week that it was launching the probe to investigate whether the honour was awarded in return for the cash. But the Prince of Wales' youngest son had already distanced himself from Mafuza amid cash for access concerns in 2014, years before Charles accepted his generous donations. This weekend detectives were examining a letter sent to Mafuza's representatives by Michael Fawcett, Charles's longest-standing confidant and the former head of the Prince's Foundation, in which Fawcett said he would be very happy to back the Saudis' nomination for an honour, the Times reports. Officers could also call in Clive Alderton, Charles' private secretary to understand whether the Prince or Clarence House knew of these dealings between Fawcett and Mahfouz. The Duke of Sussex was 30 when he expressed major concerns about Mahfouz and distanced himself just two years before his father awarded the tycoon with a CB at a private ceremony in Buckingham Palace. Charles, 73, had written to thank Mahfouz for his donations and visited him several times in both Britain and Saudi Arabia. But the future king says he has no knowledge of any trade-off between donations and honours and that Harry's apparent concerns were never shared with him. Mahfouz has also denied any wrongdoing, while Fawcett, 59, Charles's former valet, has been forced to quit his role at the Prince's Foundation over the disclosures. Charity watchdogs in England and Scotland have launched a joint investigation. Scotland Yard began to look into the Prince of Wales' relationship with Mahfouz after a piece in the Sunday Times last year raised concerns about their dealings. But the latest documents to be uncovered date back to 2014 when Prince Harry was seeking donations to Santa Bale, a charity which helps children with HIV in Lethaso, Southern Africa. As charity co-founder, Harry had agreed to meet Mahfouz who was dangling a £1 million donation offer. The donation was even drawn up in the draft charity accounts until Mahfouz suddenly announced a new precondition of the offer. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are tipped to be heavily involved in Prince Charles' coronation despite stepping back from royal duties two years ago. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex quit their roles as working members of the royal family back in 2020. Following their decision, Prince Harry, 37, and Meghan Markle, 40, moved to California where they now reside with their two children, two-year-old Archie and Lilibet Lily Diana who celebrates her first birthday in June. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex received the Queen's permission to leave the firm in order to live as private citizens. Despite moving across the pond and away from royal life, the Queen has said that the Sussexes will always be much-loved members of the royal family. When stepping back Meghan and Harry declared their intentions to be financially independent. Since then, the couple has pursued business ventures including signing deals with streaming giants Netflix and Spotify, taking on roles with startup companies and launching their own charitable foundation. Members of the public would assume that after moving across the pond and stepping back from duties, Meghan and Harry would be ruled out of playing any significant role in the crowning of the next monarch.